G'day everyone, Blake here from Blue Dog Prospecting and if you're new to my channel, welcome! Down here with Dennis from Gold Den, the kids, mum, just watching the helicopters come in, we've got a huge bushfire over here. Geez, it was lovely of the National Parks to turn around and say, hey guys, um, it's closed at Buckerumbi Bridge, 30 kilometres that way, not when we're just about where we want to be. So anyway, we're here where the uh, Boyd River comes out. Excuse you, naughty. Uh, comes out into Buckarumbi up here. And this is the uh, Nemboida River. So, just uh, have a look over here. See the lovely fences that the owners here at Buckarumbi have put up just to keep us out. Now I wonder, I'm going to go and print out the legislation that states that uh, no one owns this river. The high tide line is way up here. They have no legal right to put this fence here and to stop us making our way up this stream. Now, I don't know if they know their legal rights or not, but to sit there and have signs and threats of cameras and police action, well, they ain't got a leg to stand on because they have no legal right to fence off a waterway like this. Okay, so... You know, if they put a fence along there and along up here to keep their cattle in, cool, no worries. But if you're ever coming up a creek or a river and you see a fence like this, now they have no, zero legal rights to stop us walking up this creek. So, uh, or even just to stop us looking around up there. We have no rights to fossick but we do have rights to walk this creek. So, uh, if you're watching this, the people of Buckarumbi, this is law breaking right here, and I'm gonna print out the legislation. I'm gonna sticky tape it to your forehead, because you have no legal right to fence a river. And this isn't just a creek. I know it looks like it at the moment, it's run pretty dry, but this is a river. So we've got the helicopter coming back in again. And again, I say, oh, it was so nice of you national parks to uh, let me know 30 kilometres back towards Grafton that you were going to turn us around at Buckarumbi. Thank you very much, national parks, for wasting my fuel. Mind you, this is the third time you've done it. It's not hard to put a sign 30 kilometres that way. And uh, Google Maps even doesn't say that this area is closed, so... You know, choppers off again, can't really see it there. They're collecting water to dump on the fire. Anyway, you can see up there too, there's fences all the way down along here, it's all fenced off. I get it, they don't want campers here. They're probably making a mess, but uh, you got no legal right to fence off river source. Oh, look at the beautiful iron mineralized soil here. We've actually got my first speck just then. Over there the young fella was behind there. We got one little speck of gold. So I might go and pack up the uh, gear and head down here to Dennis and show him how the professionals do it. <laughs> okay? Show him how the pro gold, pros find the gold, eh? <laughs> uh, anyway, that's my little whinge for the day. I only go get into it and uh, get some shiny yellow. I'll see you guys uh, if I find anything exciting. If not, peace.